it was a game of massive proportions at the wrong end of the table. Curzon entered the game above the National League North drop zone on goal difference, while Gainsborough were second bottom and hadn't won in six fixtures. Following defeat to Brackley Town four days earlier, Curzon manager John Flanagan described the encounter as a must-win game. It's the first time that Flanagan has faced the prospect of relegation since taking the reins in 2011. The former Woodley Sports and Mosley boss has enjoyed nothing but success during his time with the club, guiding the Nash to two promotions, a separate runner-up finish and two other cup finals. For Flanagan, nothing but a big performance and three points would do on the evening. So it must have come as a big relief to watch his side start brightly. After a lively opening to the game, Dan Shaw's effort was ruled out for a push on the defender. Curzon continued to push for an opener, though their evening was to turn sour when on loan Stockport midfielder Sam Walker was pulled off with a hamstring injury. Injury worries aside, Curzon pressed for the opener and came close again through Niall Cummins. The visitors came close with a set piece at the other end of the pitch. Nathan Jarman forced a fine save from goalkeeper Cameron Mason. Games became close to taking the lead soon after, but the crossbar denied Ashley Warsford. For all their threat in front of goal, it was actually Curzon who took a one-goal lead into the half-time break. Dan Shaw rising highest to glance home Paul Marshall's free kick in the 46th minute. Curzon started the second half brightly and put the visitors' keeper under pressure. James Bailey darted forward and hit an angle shot from close range. However, Gainsborough are fighting for their lives and they upped the ante and came close after a sustained period of pressure. Liam King was unable to direct his shot on target after finding space on the edge of the box. The waves of attack continued. Craig King tried a curling effort which drifted wide of the far post, before Nicky Walker also watched his effort deflected out for a corner. Curzon managed to soak up the pressure and eventually scored a second to put the game to bed in the dying seconds. Joe Guest capitalised on a weak clearance from the goalkeeper and headed home into an empty net. The result has lifted Curzon to 16th in the table and they now have a three-point cushion above the drop zone. John Flanagan's side will be hoping to secure back-to-back -back victories at Leamington on Saturday.